Physical therapy changes people's lives because it helps them overcome impairments and limitations that together interfere with their full participation in life. It could be at home, things simply dressing, bathing, preparing a meal uh, to the community, being able to go to the store, shop, drive a vehicle. Uh, it could be uh, the inability to work uh, or to participate in, in, in sports or recreational activities. So physical therapy is about life, it's about motion, it's about independence. Physical therapy is one of the most critical workforce shortages in the state of Florida. Uh, and also it has a growth trajectory uh, projected by the Bureau of Labor Statistics nationally of 39%. There are very few professions uh, that offer the potential extrinsic reward. Uh, virtually there is no unemployment amongst physical therapists, but also physical therapy continues decade after decade to rank as one of the highest professions with intrinsic reward. Uh, it's a great healthcare profession where you're doing and you're helping uh, and I can say after 35 years as a, as a clinician, as an administrator, as an academic, uh, you come to work energized, uh, or as Catherine Graham says, if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. Back in 2010, the Florida Board of Governors uh, issued a challenge called the New Florida Clustering Proposal, uh, whereby they were looking for institutions to partner, taking an existing program, and based upon state needs, uh, find a way to expand enrollments. Working with our colleagues at the University of West Florida, we submitted a proposal because at USF Health, we seek to be a resource and an answer for the state of Florida, for the citizens of Florida. And so this past year, in a very difficult budget year, surprise to all of us, uh, the leadership of the legislature placed money to fund the program and uh, we've been undertaking the implementation of the program since that time. So the partnership will involve qualified students who graduate from the University of West Florida in Pensacola matriculating as part of an expanded class uh, that we're seeking accreditors approval for right now, completing year one of their studies here on the USF Health Tampa campus, and then returning to the Pensacola campus for year two and year three of their studies and through the marvels of technology, video technology, we'll be broadcasting our coursework from the originating site here in Tampa to Pensacola. We will have faculty with this cohort of up to 12 students per class and then those students will also complete all of their clinical education internships in the Panhandle and in the Pensacola healthcare entities, the hospitals, the clinics. There's a great deal of excitement and enthusiasm for this. And again, it's an example of, of USF Health reaching out to meet the needs of, uh, of the state of Florida. Speaking as a, as a, as a retired uh, Navy physical therapist, I'm very proud of the fact that much of our research work here at the school in our Human Functional Performance Lab uh, is funded by the Department of Defense and it's directed towards our war fighters and our wounded warriors. Believe it or not, the largest cause of non-battle injury amongst our war fighters, our active duty forces who were deployed over to Iraq and Afghanistan over this last 10 years was low back pain, low back strain largest cause of non-battle injury. Dr. Mayer, an expert in spinal pain and disability, working with our colleagues at Fort Sam Houston in Texas, uh, has developed a novel exercise preventative intervention, and we're about two-thirds of the way of completing that study to look at whether or not uh, exercise can be a, a preventative or a, or, or a reduction factor uh, for these injuries. If you think about the modern warfighter wearing about 65 pounds of body armor, carrying the, the, the size packs with the combat loads. You've seen pictures back from Iraq. You've seen pictures from the mountainous terrain in Afghanistan. You know that the back has proven to be the Achilles heel of the modern warfighter. And many, many, many hundreds of thousands of dollars have been spent by the Department of Defense trying to research and come up with some solutions to this problem. I think that uh, as we find with most of our students, the best and brightest students who aspire to a career in healthcare today, physical therapy is one of their top choices. Our average student, and this past year we had almost a thousand applications for 40 seats in our program. As I said, we're 14, almost 15 years young. We've been recognized on the U.S. News and World Report list as one of three programs in Florida to be ranked 
Uh, we're on a trajectory to national prominence and excellence. Uh, the faculty and I live for the comments that we hear from our clinical instructors when our students go out and perform. They are the competent, capable, caring, committed, and as Dr. Clasco likes to say, practice ready clinicians for the 21st century. Uh, we're producing the leaders and the game changers for this 21st century healthcare uh, system that we're all about to enter.